is fine and doing great. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Vithalam Academy, which is an online learning platform. Myself, Bhavesh Patel. Today in this video, we will solve chapter number 11, Direct and Inverse Proportions, question number 1 to 10 of SOF International's Mathematics Olympiad. It will help you to solve quickly, increase your confidence level, sharpness and smartness, perform better in Olympiads and other competitive exams. So let's solve one by one. The first section is mathematical reasoning. Question number one. If x is to y equals to 2 is to 3 and 2 is to x equals to 1 is to 2, then the value of y is. So here x is to y equals to 2 is to 3. That means it is x by y equals to 2 by 3. And same way here. 2 is 2x is 2 by x equals to 1 by 2. Let's do cross multiplications. So it is x equals to 4. Place the value of x here. So 4 by y equals to 2 by 3. Let's do cross multiplications. So 2y equals to 12. Therefore y equals to 6. So answer is c. Next, if x and y vary inversely as each other and x equals to 12 when y equals to 10, find y when x equals to 20. So x is varying inversely. Therefore, xy, that means it's a product, remains constant. Therefore, we can say x1, y1 equals to x2, y2. Now, here we have to find out, let's say, y2 when x2 equals to 20. x equals to 12, x1 is 12 and y1 is 10. Therefore, y2 equals to 10, 2 and 2 6. So y2 equals to 6. Therefore, answer is D. Next. If y varies directly as x square and x equals to 2 when y equals to 3, then find y when x is 6. So y varies directly x square. Therefore, we will say y1 upon x1 square equals to y2 upon x2 square. Correct? Now what we have to find? X, x1, y1 is given. We have to find y2, x2 is given. So let's keep y2 equals to y1 into x1 square into x2 square. So y1 is this one. 3 x1 2 2 square is 4 into x2 square x2 is 6 6 square is 36 simplify 9 4 is 36 9 3 is 27 therefore y2 is 27 answer c next If 1 by 5 is to 1 by x equals to 1 by x is to 1 by 125. So this is proportion. Four numbers in proportions. And one of the important product, uh, property of pro proportion is product of means equals to product of extremes. Or we'll say square of middle terms means equals to product of AC. If it is A is to B is to C. Here it is same. A is to B is to B is to C. So B square equals to AC. So B square therefore 1 by X into 1 by X equals to A. That is 1 by 5 into 1 by 125. Therefore it is X square equals to or here it is 1 by x square equals to 1 by 6 to 5. Therefore, x square equals to 625, which is nothing but 25 square. Therefore, 
x equals to 25. Answer C. Next. X and Y vary in inverse proportions. So X proportional 1 by Y. X is inversely proportional to Y. When X is 12, Y is 3. So let's say this is X1, 12, Y1, 3. So X1 into Y1 supposed to be remains constant. So X1 is 12 and Y1 is 3. So 36. That is supposed to be constant. Which of the following is not a possible pair of corresponding values of X and Y? So we have to take product of this 36. That is 36. So this is in proportion. 10 into 10, 3.6. That is also 36. In proportion, 72 into 0.5. 72 into 0.5 is nothing but half or you can say 5 by 10. That is 36. So this is also in proportions. 5 in, and 6. So it is 30. So this is not in proportion. Therefore our answer is D. Next. If A is to B equals to 2 is to 3 and B is to C equals to 4 is to 5 then C is to A is how much? So C is to A is nothing but C by A and C by A is nothing but C by B into B by A. Correct? Now C by B is reciprocal of B by C that is here it is B by C B is to C is nothing but B by C equals to 4 by 5 and A is to B is nothing but A by B equals to 2 by 3. So C by B for here it is 5 by 4 and here B by A 3 by 2. So C by B is 5 by 4 into B by A that is 3 by 2. So 15 by 8 therefore it is 15 is to 8. So answer is A. Next. When x equals to 2, 7, 11, infinity, y equals to 8, 28, 44, infinity, then x and y are in direct, inverse, neither direct nor inverse, none of the this. So this will never come. Direct when it is x by y equals to constant, the ratio or division. Inverse when x into y is constant, product. So let's do here first term of x that is 2 and first term of y that is 8. So first let's go for this. So 2 by 8 that is 1 by 4 and 2 into 8 that is 16. Correct. So let's take second term 7 and 28. So 7 by 28 that is 1 by 4. 1 by 4, 1 by 4 matching. If I do product 28 into 7, it won't be 16. So basically, it's a ratio is matching. X by Y equals to C, constant. Therefore, it is in direct proportion. Next. Two quantities X and Y vary directly with each other when? Directly means x proportional to y therefore it is x by y is constant so x by y remains constant this is for inverse and this have no any value next 56 men can do a piece of work in 42 days how many men will do the same work in 14 days so here what is the relations? That is, it is not told whether it's a direct or inverse. That's what we have to understood. Direct means direct relations, direct proportions. When x increase, y is also increase. When one variable decrease, second variable will also decrease. While inverse means 
when x increase y decrease when x decrease y increase so here there are two variable man and number of days if man increase days will to do a certain work days will decrease so therefore it is inverse proportional x 1 upon y therefore x1 y1 equals to x2 y2 x is let's say 56 man y1 let's say number of days 42 x man how many men that's what we have to find out when y2 that is 14 days therefore make sure that the units here it is man here it is days here it is man that's what we have to find out this is days all units will be in the same if this is given in weeks then convert to days don't forget don't directly put so therefore x2 equals to 56 into 42 by 14 14 threes are 42 and 56 threes are 6 threes are 18 1 carry over 5 threes are 15 and 16 so 168 therefore 168 mans are required to finish the same work in 14 days you can directly also do quickly see here just compare these two numbers earlier 42 days now 14 days therefore it is one third days are reduced by one third correct that's why this man will increase by one third that is three times correct so 56 into 3 that's what finally answer came correct next an agent receive a commission of rupees 73.00 on sales of rupees 1000.00. The commission he will get on sales of rupees 100.00 is see commission and sales. That's the two parameters. If sales increase, commission increase. If sales decrease, commission decrease. Therefore, it is X is directly proportional to Y, or I will say sales or commission is directly proportional to commissions correct so for a direct calculation if i do quickly here he receives agent receives 73 rupees for 1000 so for 100 obviously 73 by 10 that is 7.3 so answer will come this let's see sales amount of sales directly proportional to amount of commissions correct therefore x1 by y1 equals to x2 by y2 what we have to find out he will the commission he will get on sales so we have to find out commission let's say x1 is commission new commission on sales of y1 y1 is 100 x2 is a commission so rupees 73 y2 that is the sales that is thousand so x1 equals to 73 into 100 by thousand 73 by 10 that is rupees 7.30 that's the answer a so that's all about the solutions of question number 1 to 10 chapter number 11 direct and inverse proportions of sof international mathematics olympiad once again, myself Bhavesh Patel from Vithalam Academy. For any query, doubt, suggestions, you can reach us via mail. Our mail ID is vithalamacademy at the rate gmail.com. That is V I W T H A L M A C A D E M Y at the rate gmail.com. So, thank you and wish you all the best.